Yo, what's up guys? It is Charles Minky with How About The Hustle and today we are going over how to clean your graphics cards. Uh, I'm a miner and uh, I guess you could be cleaning a tower or you could be cleaning whatever you want, but we're gonna go over three different ways to clean your graphics cards. We're gonna start with the least invasive to the most and uh, the least invasive starts off with just using a fan and uh, <laughs> and cleaning this out as best you can with a fan or something like that. Uh, you can also use the cans that you can get, but they're disposable and you're gonna, in the long run, you're gonna get a lot more of them. This thing is super strong and uh, I'm pretty sure it'll do exactly what you need and you don't have to buy a lot of them. So maybe more of an upfront cost, but in the long term, it will be better. The second way we're gonna clean a graphics card is without this ultrasonic cleaner and we'll use a tiny little vacuum and isopropyl alcohol. So we'll take the cards apart, we'll use the little vacuum, we go over the PCB or over the board with them, we get all of our particulates up because if you put liquids on a bunch of dust, it makes the cards really, really gross. So it's a lot easier if you clean them off first with this, and then after that you come back with a toothbrush, isopropyl alcohol, you clean it, you scrub it really well, and your graphics cards will look brand new, and uh, it'll give you longevity and life to them, because you know, you get problems when you have a lot of dust on your cards, you get problems when you get uh, any type of moisture buildup under your memory modules, anything like that. So, that's what these are for. And I also have denatured alcohol, which I've used to clean as well. Um, and then the last one, we have a ultrasonic cleaner. So I bought a bunch of Windex. Um, I didn't have enough time to actually get real PCB cleaner. Um, I live in the middle of nowhere. So I researched quite a bit and you can use a one fourth Windex solution with an ultrasonic machine. And then I have all the distilled water. You always want to use parents choice. It's safe for babies. I'm just joking. Um, just any type of distilled water will work. And uh, yeah, and then we're gonna use one fourth Windex and clean these bad boys. We've got a PCB here which I have taken pictures of. Honestly, it looks, after months and months of mining, it looked amazing. And it's not what I was anticipating. So I was look, expecting it to look a lot, a lot worse. Basically, the PCB looks pretty darn clean. I don't know if you can see that well. Um, I took a video on my phone to kind of show you guys. This is PCB one. We got quite a bit of pad grease. Besides that though, paste, fairly dry. But it looks really, really good. There's a little bit of dust near the PCIe connection and then there's a lot of grease and the thermal paste is fairly dry. It could use a, a new pasting. So anyway, uh, I've separated all the pieces. I took the fan off away from the heat sink so basically we can stick the heat sink in there and clean that as well. There's quite a bit of dust on the heat sink here. And the fan I will clean separately because when you stick a fan, they have greased components that need to remain greased. And I don't really, I have a uh, fan um, oil actually. So if I needed to take these fans apart, I could re-oil them after, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to clean these with a vacuum and then use the rest of the components in the ultrasonic for this first test. Uh, it's heating up right now. Right now we're at 22 degrees. It's been at 22 for uh, the entire time of it's heating up. So <laughs> we will see you guys in just a second. We are back. I let this bad boy heat up. It only took 54 minutes to heat up. So uh, there was a tip online. If you're going to have your solution, put it on the stovetop and heat that up. Uh, before boiling or whatever temperature you want. You can use like a turkey gauge or some type of thing to measure the temperature because this took uh, <laughs> forever. So anyway, let's get this thing started. Also, the sound uh, that this makes is extremely unfriendly. Uh, something to keep in mind. Um, yeah, let's put this bad boy in. Uh, I'm going to do five minutes on each side. So I'm going to do five minutes on one side, five minutes on the other side, and then I'm going to Okay, there we go. You put the top on that bad boy. You want to come look at this? Yeah. You can uh, take that thing off the skin. Okay, just kind of look down at that bad boy. You can see there in our Windex solution. Um, I'm going to turn this on for a second just so you, you all can hear it. I'm not sure if you can tell. 
how unfriendly the sound is exactly. Uh, but it is a piercing, shrill sound. <laughs> Not a friend. Uh, but I'm going to shut that off. Right now we're at 38 degrees. I added a little more Windex and my wife said that's going to cool it down. And uh, she was right. It did cool it down. So I'm going to let this run for five minutes. Um, and I will be back to you guys in just a second. Okay, you know what's up guys? I just finished vacuuming out the fan section. It works wonders if you guys get one of these. I'm kind of cheap. There was a $40 and $50 versions of this and this is the $15 version. I still love it. It feels $15 though. Um, but it works <laughs> just sl slightly poorly. Um, so right here I have the perfect baking tin uh, for all your graphics cards needs. And basically I just cooked these bad boys um, and just finished the process. Now a couple of notes uh, that I think are going to be important. You know, one being I just... The whole process was going, and I used Windex one fourth, and I had read online, you know, and uh, another miner had done a full Windex wash, and I just was looking at it, and it wasn't even getting the the paste off the CPU, and I was like, what the heck? So I went and touched the paste, and it was like getting hardened. So a couple of notes: if you use Windex, is um, make sure to take the paste off first, and honestly. After doing this the first time with Windex, I, I just recommend you guys get some Alma Tech um, or something like that, which is a PCB actual cleaner. It's just going to work better. So what we've got now is I'm just going to take some isopropyl alcohol and you're just going to kind of run this over your board. Um, and you want to do this just to kind of, because uh, alcohol is a displacer, meaning that it's going to move water out of the way. And it'll help making sure that this thing gets dried off just the way you want it to. And you don't have any residual stuff all over the board. Um, I also have a background of cleaning iPhone. So I am going to take a little bit, of, uh, a little bit of a brush to this bad boy. Um, just to make sure. I honestly felt like the Windex didn't do too good of a job. Um, I'm sure you guys are wondering, Well, we wish you would have showed us before you put the alcohol on it. <laughs> Um, and it's not like it did a bad job. It didn't really do a bad job. It just didn't take the paste off. Um, it took some of the dust off. I just, it felt a little lackluster to me, but what you can always do is just get a little bit of alcohol. Real simple. And just be kind of ginger with it, but you can be kind of rough. And just kind of clean this bad boy. Um, and I've got a heat gun right over there. I'm going to take that heat gun. Kind of cleaning all the nooks and crannies, all the little spots. We got a sticker that came off. Let it come off. And uh, kind of just clean that thing out. Now we're going to go right over here. Where I'm actually going to do a little more alcohol. Uh, kind of just let that thing wash over it. Okay. And the alcohol should displace all that Windex and that water. Now it's distilled water. The reason why you use distilled water is because regular water has minerals in it. And the problem is, is you'll get uh, deposits on your metal parts. Specifically on this heat sink there, you're going to get deposits. Meaning like little white things are going to show up or, or, or um, like little mineral deposits. Huh? Coatings? No. Little oh. mineral deposits that are going to show up basically on the thing. Okay. And so I got my heat gun right here. I'll go low. Just heat gun this bad boy off, you know? And I don't know if you can see how close this is. Can you get a close-up shot? Can you see it real well? I think so. Can you see the liquid? Mm. Yes. Okay, now watch this. Can you see that? Yeah. That's the beauty of using alcohol. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. <laughs> we'll go right over here. You kind of want to keep it evened out. Don't, don't put all your heat in one spot. It's just bad news and it's a, 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 a surefire way to ruin your card by using one of these things. Keep it running, keep it going. This is something I learned when I repaired iPhones. Keep that thing moving, keep the heat going around. Do not get isolated with it.
making sure to get inside all those ports. I don't want a dry spot. Make sure you get up in here. Uh, look, I got water inside these ports. Make sure that you get all that out of there. And another thing you want to do is make sure you get alcohol in those spots. The reason why is that alcohol displaces that water. And it's actually, it's like, man, are you sure you want to put more liquids into it? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, it's really going to help. You need it to displace that water on your PCB. So I'm just going to kind of knock out that, knock out that alcohol. I'll come back in. I also have this, you know, if I wanted to, I could... Uh, have that not plugged in. Uh, if I wanted to, I could come in here and use air to dry this thing off too. Really good. Thing to do. Now we got all that stuff out of our board. We're just gonna come back in with the heat gun that is not plugged in uh, and plug it in. Right like this. Just come back into that port and kind of heat that port up. Make sure that we're dried out. Now we're looking pretty dry. That I think shooting it with that uh, that air really helps displace that water. Put it around, you know. We've still got a little bit of grease on our PCB. I don't know if you can see that right there. Um, but other than that, the PCB looks really clean. I think it looks good. Buttons look good. I don't see much grease on it at all. You know, obviously I hit it with uh, some alcohol and a toothbrush. But besides that, I think it looks good. All right, let's have a look at our heat sink. I feel like that is a finished product right there. Um, will you take the camera off the mount and have a look at that PCB real quick? Yep. Have a look at this real quick. So we've still got, if you guys will notice, we've still got some, I'm gonna use a spudger. We've still got some grime. This isn't a spudger, I know. We've still got some grime right here, got some grime right here, some buildup, some buildup. We've still got some where our cards were. So maybe before you use Windex, if you use it, hit it with something else. Um, label looks fine. I will say that there was a ton of dust all caked in here, which, Still, we have on there a little bit. Do that again. Oh. Do you see that? No. Don't use a manual. Oh, you're zooming in. Got it. It's not focusing. On it. Oh, there we go. Can you see it now? All right. Forget about it. Okay, good. Okay, basically, there's still <laughs> dust on it. <laughs> so, you know, how I'm feeling about it, obviously, I'm going to hit this thing with some alcohol. This is kind of my tried and true is using isopropyl. I've been using isopropyl for a long time. To clean these things out. So I wasn't too impressed with the ultrasonic cleaner, you know. I feel like, you know, maybe for the little nooks and crannies I couldn't have hit otherwise. Um, it's a it's a pretty good method. And I gotta say, guys, you know, obviously you need to use a PCB cleaner for this. I'm trying not to take that sticker off, you know. I'm a junkie for keeping my stuff in original condition, so I'm going to try to keep it nice. Um, so, just kind of taking isopropyl alcohol, going at this thing, getting between all the fan blades and whatnot, and we're going to, might lose that sticker anyway. Take another isopropyl, give it a little bath real quick. 
Okay. Okay. Isopropyl 99 is not cheap. Obviously, I know this is a little bit of an extensive clean. Uh, I was hoping that it was going to come out better looking just right off the bat, which I'm sure if any of you are going to do this as well, you'd be hoping the same thing. So I highly recommend getting a PCB cleaner, uh, like an Elma Tech or something. Anyway, uh, let's hit this with the, with some air real quick. Dry this bad boy out. We don't want to leave. We don't want to leave deposits for too long or a wetness too long, especially on our heat sink. I know we have distilled water, so it's light on the minerals and whatnot, but you want to get that kind of dry as possible. As quick as possible. Now we're going to go heat. Now this can take a lot more heat than you could on the other electronic. So you don't have to be shy or coy on this one. Just be careful because it's going to get hot, it's metal. simple. Okay. All right. Thing is molten. Double check that. Okay. Let's have a look real quick. You can take it off the tripod. Ouch, frick, that's hot. As you can see, looking a lot better, looking really, really clean. Got some uh, deeper scratches, you know, I'm not really seeing much residue or anything like that. Um, it's really looking super clean. I know I hit it with a toothbrush, um, isopropyl, but I feel comfortable with those things. But all in all, and then looking at uh, this as well, might have to back up just a hair. I cleaned that just out with a fan, cleaned all the sides out with our little tiny vacuum. And that was super simple. And uh, I know that this, uh, this, is, <laughs> this is an extensive clean, I get that. Um, but really the point of this is do, you're doing it every six months to a year. You're taking all your cards apart and you're cleaning them really, really well. Um, but anyway, guys, that was the ultrasonic cleaner with a, a dab of toothbrush just to help that bad boy out. And, uh, yeah, now on to, on the next video, we'll do just a toothbrush and isopropyl alcohol. And then we'll just do a fan and show you guys what that looks like. But a fan really doesn't get that deep dust. But anyway, all right, y'all.